another question I have for you, Dr. Porter, is when you put this on, and just to show the viewers what we're talking about, so I've got really phenomenal high quality headphones going straight in. This visor on the inside, there are lights. Mm -hmm. See maybe the, well, this, see that you can see the light. Uh, what, what lights only work when the session's actually going. But what's happening there, that retinal flashing, we call it, your eyes are closed. And that's actually attracting the optic nerve. And the nerve saying, hey, there's something going on out there. And then so the brain lights up. We're, our whole, the whole focus of this and what we've proved over time is that when you're under stress, the executive functioning of the brain shuts down. That's why we don't make good decisions under stress. But what if we could train the brain to stay awake under stress? We'd make much better decisions. And that's what we're finding with the brain tap is we're, we're actually training the brain, that frontal lobe, that part of the brain that makes executive functions. Also, that's the part of the brain that has to do with visualization. So people that don't visualize very well, typically after a certain period of time, they'll start to visualize even though they didn't really know that's what they were doing. And if you can visualize it, you can realize it. So as we work with that, that system of the brain that's there anyway, we all have an imagination. It's just some of us don't have access to the pictures. We might have access to the sounds or the feelings. So when that headset's on, it's a total immersion experience. And during that total immersion experience, the brain opens up and activates different neural pathways that allow you to activate those, those dreams you have or helps you to um, incorporate better decision-making strategies and helps you to eliminate the stress that builds up in our body during the day. Yep. <clears throat> if I counted right, the lights have several different intensities, maybe six or seven. What's the difference and what do you need to do to adjust to a higher intensity of the lights versus the default that's on with it? And what, right, what, what are the benefits on there that does it? The more light you can handle, the better neurological activity. But some people, they have an over aroused nervous system. And we, mm -hmm. don't, we don't know that when they get the brain tap. So we have a defaulting to the lowest actual setting. Right. And so I, we recommend that you slowly go up in the light. Most people will tell us uh, after a few weeks, hey, I want more light, I want more light. The reality is uh, once the brain learns the sequence and learns how to use the tr brain trainer, uh, you don't see the lights anymore anyway. It right. cancels out the light. It's, it creates a Gaussian field, so it's kind of like watching a movie. We don't see those black lines between each of the frames anymore. It's just a continuous flow of information. Right. And the brain does the same thing with the brain tap.